Hey everybody, Tony D with another hot take on the thing that we can't talk about because of the YouTube tyrants. Um, so in New Jersey, we went from an increase of 4,000, maybe 4,300 cases. Today's increase was only about 4,200 cases. Uh, that sounds pretty good. It may starting to be finally plateauing. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. Um, you know, I was looking at the chart of the increase per day. The big jump was from March 25th to March 26th, jumped to about, jumped like from 700, added 796 cases to like 2,300 cases. And since then, we've been slowly creeping up. You know, 2,000, uh, 2,500, 3,000, 4,000. Now we're at this place where hopefully it's not what, what we're hoping at this point is by the end of the weekend, new cases go down. Maybe new cases go down by, you know, a couple hundred, a couple th a thousand would be great. You know, go back down to 3,000, start going the other way. And uh, we're going to have to see that in a trend for at least a few days to acknowledge that it's significant, right? I mean, if it goes down to 3,500 tomorrow and then shoots back up to 5,000, well, uh, part of the variable is the testing because, you know, a lot more people are getting tested. So again, the numbers may seem grim, uh, but it's about whether or not these people got tested. And definitely the weekend impacts that. I don't know, more people would tend to get tested because I guess the few people that are working would be off or a lot of them would be off. Uh, I mean, there's still people working in uh, essential areas. Um, I would imagine they have to get days off <laughs> to, to unwind from the, the, the chaos. Um, New York's still getting battered pretty good. Um, it's a shame. Uh, not much we could do about it at this point, except try to mitigate it, try to stay home. Uh, the rumors, the rumbling is now they're starting to run out of food, which welcome to living in the big city when things go south. Living in the big city when things go south is bad because of that very reason. Cities depend on a tremendous amount of import just to keep them functioning. Energy, water, food. Um, you know, if you're trapped in your New York apartment somewhere and with no way to get out, and you, you may very well be, uh, take stock of your food and start stretching it out is my best advice. Um, you know, it's not much you can do uh, unless you've got access to a store that you could get some food and get it in and out of there without much exposure. Um, kind of depends on your money, kind of depends on your situation. I know that my money's very tight now that I'm not going to get unemployment. Um, which I pretty much confirmed that I, I, I don't know. I, you know, with this new covering the gig economy thing, I might qualify, but I had like a day job part during half the period and my freelance stuff during the other half. So uh, the state of New Jersey may not be able to, you know, uh, get the nuance of that. So I don't know. I, I'm still probably going to be okay at least until the fall when then things get really ugly for me if I don't get some work. But um, I'm looking for work, so if you got any, give me a shout. <laughs> but, um, you know, looking at this crisis, uh, the there's really no upside to it yet. Um, stay home. Work on your garden. Now's the time to get the seeds. Now's the time to plant your little egg planter and uh, look towards a couple of months from now when we're finally let out of the Shire. Um, at that point, hopefully things will start opening up. Businesses will start to open up again. And uh, there will be some work. I mean, when, when this is, you know, when people are let back out, uh, when the when the when the curve starts going down, uh, people will get back to work, and there will be quite a bit of work. And now, there's going to be people who worked in 
non-essential businesses. You know, they, uh, Tim Pool was talking about in his video how they're shutting down all the luxury stores. Those people are in real trouble. Um, you know, they were riding high in a great economy, probably opening all kinds of outlets. Um, I got to imagine most of those places will just close up. Not that they're even hurting for money, that they just see the writing on the wall. Nobody's going to come into the Louis Vuitton store in New York, uh, you know, after this mess. Uh, it, it's just going to be a, a year or two before people feel comfortable enough to start to buy luxuries like that again, even if they have some money. Um, you know, even if I had like a few hundred grand in the bank, you know, I probably wouldn't be sweating fall, but, uh, I, I'd still be a little nervous about buying anything. I just want to sit on my money and, you know, slowly dole it out for the things that I need and pay my bills and just say, well, at least I'm getting by and, and I could be comfortable. Uh, you know, my biggest complaint is the food situation here. I'm just starting to get a little... Well, I shouldn't say it's dicey. It's just annoying. I'm missing certain things. And now I've got a whole bunch of first world problems that I don't have any chips. I don't have any chips, damn it. But I'm not going out to risk the thing uh, just for a bag of chips. I mean, if I do get out for some important stuff and see some, some of those, I might pick them up. But right now I'm not going to risk it, uh, especially in the next two weeks. Next two weeks, if you're, especially if you're in the Northeast, uh, in the New York, New Jersey area, this is going to be critical. This is going to be the peak time. This is going to be when we finally find all the people who just didn't listen and went out, you know, the people who went out in late March. Uh, two weeks ago now was the weekend where things started to get serious. So... This is when mitigation finally starts, at least for the people who took it seriously. We probably got another week of sort of sporadic increases from the people who were insisting, no, 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 it's just the flu. And unfortunately, there's still people on the internet insisting that. And there's still a lot of discussion about China uh, and their role in this. It seems clear that something came out of the uh, bio lab that they had right near there. And it also seems clear that their wet markets are absolutely disgusting. Uh, I've seen some pictures online. I cannot watch the videos regarding the dogs. Do yourself a favor. Do not Google them. Horrific, horrific conditions for the doggos. I, I cannot condone that in any way. It's awful. A anyone who will want to hurt a doggo, I mean, that's, it's just sad. I, I don't care how hungry you are. Um, and, uh, you know, it continues over there. I, I don't know how anyone could treat a dog that way or a cat. Um, I had a cat when I was a kid and, uh, you know, and granted they're not like dogs, but, uh, they, they're, they're nice. Some of them are, some of them are very dog like, just like, uh, my dog's very cat like in some ways. She's about the size of a cat and she's very fussy. Um, but ultimately, she is a doggo and uh, um, sitting in the other room, sleeping, uh, being quiet for once. Anyhow, if you are in New Jersey, I hope you're stocked up. I hope you're safe. And I hope you, uh, you know, just keep watching TV and, you know, do stuff around the house. Do all those things you always wanted to do and you never had the time for. This is the time. Man, you can get caught up on your reading. You can play video games. Enjoy it now because in a few weeks, uh, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. And you're going to have to gear up to do some hard work. Hopefully get back to work or you know, maybe spend a few months scraping by. So now is the time to relax and, and recharge. So that's my advice. Everybody recharge. For the coming tough summer. But at least the weather would be nice. You got to think of it that way. We're going to have nice weather. And, uh, you know, better to, better than nice weather. I mean, if this, ha this was a winter time coming out, oh, that would be depressing. That would be depressing. You know, and it's going to be a rough Christmas. Let's be honest. Nobody's going to have any money <laughs> come Christmas time. Uh, you know, and vendors are still going to be struggling. Uh, 
you know, I, I'm going to be struggling until uh, they start doing comic book conventions again or something. I, I don't know when that's happening. That, that Talk about a tough call. I've talked about the uh, comic book industry falling apart. The comic book conventions, they actually might be saved for at least a short time if comic books go completely the way of a dodo. If all these comic book stores close, or a lot of them do, and the comic book publishers stop publishing, the only place to get comics will be comic book shows, and they might uh, actually have a boom uh, for a couple of years until, you know, until there's just no new material to find other than the independent guys. Then, you know, it, it'll slowly drift onto the internet more and more, but, you know, there is that hardcore group that still like the paper. Um, anyhow... I'm going to get back to making videos, making comics, and writing books. So uh, I hope you're safe, and we'll see you next time.